Hi and welcome to another of my videos. Um, this one's slightly different. Um, basically over the last few months I've noticed that uh, the agile uh, pricing has been pretty undesirable really um, to the point where in my own system I pretty much turned off the batteries because there was literally no point in charging the batteries from the grid and then discharging them through the day because the, um, the agile rate was just a flat 33.86 uh, pence per kilowatt um, all day every day uh, if we have a quick look at my my old dashboard there you can see the um, the agile rate is is flat and if you have a look on agileprices.co.uk you can see that for December um, the average price was pretty poor uh, November wasn't too bad we had a, a few uh, a few sessions where um, it, it was desirable to charge your battery during a cheap rate and October wasn't too bad either but then going back through the summer um, it was it was pretty appalling again um, I mean to be honest through, through the summer it didn't really bother me because I was you know getting a full charge uh, off my solar panels during the day and that was seeing me you know give me enough charge through the night to, to see me through but now we're in the, the depths of winter um, I rarely get more than a couple of kilowatts off off my panels um, during the day here um, literally because they're south southeast facing the pitch of my roof is is pretty shallow it's only like 23 degrees I think so with the low sun angle as well I just don't don't really generate very much so I was thinking um, you know it's probably uh, I'm not on the best tariff for me I need to, to to get on a tariff where I can charge my batteries consistently and you know less expensively should we say overnight um, contacting Octopus. Um, unfortunately, the, the Go and Intelligent tariffs are only available if your batteries have got wheels. So, you know, if um, if you've got an EV, I don't. I've got no interest in having one. So, uh, the only option for me was to to go on to um, the Flex tariff, um, but with Economy Seven overnight. So, I get a guaranteed uh, seven hours between half midnight and half seven every night. Um, of 14p a unit. Um, I did do a little comparison in Excel um, just to work out if it was uh, worthwhile me doing. Um, so I've got you know my two rows here, um, my current or my, my previous tariff which was Agile 2018. The standard charge was pretty reasonable at 21p a day um, but yeah as I said I, I put my calculations based on a flat 33.86 um, unit rate that worked out my daily and monthly costs which to be honest pretty much match what I was seeing on my on my smart meter and in the octopus API doing a comparison against flex eco or flex with eco 7 you can see the standing charge is much less desirable but what was really attractive to me is the overnight unit rate of 14p a unit which you're guaranteed for seven hours every night um, Basing my so my rough sort of calculations on the fact I generally use 18 or 19 kilowatts a day. Um, I'm a home worker, so I am around all day. Um, it it looked uh, to make sense to me. You know, I was probably going to be saving about two pound a day um, by making this switch. So this video is literally just going to be um, showing the changes that I made to my inverter control. Uh, all via Home Assistant, of course, to make sure that I optimise um, my inverter and battery charging cycle uh, to make the best use of the um, of the guaranteed cheap overnight rate. So, literally, what um, I wanted to do, um, if I sort of set out what, what my aims were, was to charge the batteries between midnight and half seven. I've got a pair of um, Fox ESS 5200, so 10 kilowatt of storage. Um, so charge them overnight um, between midnight and half seven or half midnight and half seven and then start using those batteries that the, the moment that the tariff switches at half seven in the morning um, so that I'm then not using that expensive day rate of 41p. So there's a couple of things um, that you need to do in order to make that happen. Now from my previous videos um, which you, you may, may not watch I'd, I'd recommend you do watch them because it, they're kind of prerequisite to this one um, I've shown how to control 
the inverter from charging from grid and not charging from grid using home assistant so that's still very relevant um, to this but there is an extra step that we're going to do which is we're going to limit the battery discharge rate between half midnight and half seven in the morning because what you don't want to do is um, you know say at half midnight start the batteries charging you've got them fully charged by two three o'clock in the morning and then you start discharging the batteries at two or three o'clock in the morning so that you know come half seven in the morning when the rate ramps up again you've actually only got a 60 percent charge because the base load of your house or you might be running your dishwasher or your washing machine or something else overnight you don't want to be draining your batteries to power those you'd be better off uh, certainly in my opinion of using that cheap grid rate um, at that time and keeping what is in your batteries um, for that time so the first step um, to achieve that um, or the way in which I do it is I set my maximum battery discharge rate to one amp um, during uh, the cheap rate window if you like so the first thing we need to do is in the solace mod we need to define another topic against register 43118 so 43118 is um, the maximum discharge in amps register and it's controlled by a factor of uh, 100 I believe so if I was to take a look at that register now so this um, in case you don't know uh, this is going to live in your solace mod config directory and it is the registers.py file any changes you make to this file will require a restart of main.py in solace mod um, if like me you've got it configured to run on boot it might just be easier to restart your machine or your pi or, or whatever so if i um, just quickly show you using Pi Solarman the value of that register right now. I have a little Pi Solarman script uh, called Max Discharge Amps. There we go. And in fact, if I have a, a quick look at that, we can see all it's going to do is print the value of register 43118. So if we run that, that little Pi Solarman script, we can see right now. Um, that the max discharge amps is 1000 so it's a factor of 10 so a value of 1000 in the register means um, that that is set to 100 amps which is the max discharge rate for the Fox ESS 5200s so what we're going to do is in home assistant we're going to have a little automation that runs that says between half midnight and half seven um, we are going to set the value of that register to one amp which is literally just to prevent the battery from discharging during that cheap grid window so if we have a look in home assistant in my settings and in my automations I now have um, four automations that I've called eco 7 so you can still see actually I've still got all of my disabled uh, automations here from when I was using agile which was you know charging from the grid when um, you know it was the best two hour slot or three hour slot depending on the time of day and the solar forecast and all the rest of that but with eco 7 because the cheap rate is predictable we know when it's always going to be it actually really simplifies the the automations that you're going to need so uh, the first one that I set up is um, the enable the grid charge when the forecast is poor there we go so if I take a quick look at this one so what I've done is at 35 minutes past midnight admittedly I you know I was just going to give it five minutes there just to make sure that I am most definitely on the cheap rate so when the time equals um, 35 minutes past midnight the solar forecast for today is below 15 kilowatts so you know basically it's going to be poor then I'm going to run my solace charge from grid script which um, was referenced in my previous video so literally all that's going to do is that's flipping um, the register value of I think it's 43110 um, which is the the use mode 
I think we set that to 35 from memory, and that will then start charging from the grid at half past midnight. At the same time that that's happening, I'm going to run this other automation here, which is to limit the battery discharge current when the grid is cheap and the solar forecast is poor. So again, at five minutes or 35 minutes past midnight, and again, the solar forecast is poor, i.e. below 15 kilowatts. I'm going to run my, my script, which is to set the register value of 43118 to 10 or um, 1 amp. Because remember, it's, it's got a factor of 10. We can have a quick look at that script in a moment. But that's essentially what that, that automation does. I then have... Another automation, which is to stop charging from grid at 98%. In fairness, you probably don't really need that. You could let the battery uh, control module um, rule that if you like. But um, I thought I'd be nice to my batteries and uh, and stop that charging at uh, 98%. So again, what happens is when the battery state of charge is above 98, I flip the value of register 43. 110 back to 33, which is to, to charge from PV rather than grid. And I think that pretty much covers it for um, my Eco7 um, automations. Oh, in fact, there is, there is one more. So remember that between midnight and half, or oh, sorry, half midnight and half seven, we've set the battery max discharge to one amp. We need to do the reverse of that. At half seven in the morning to enable me to start using my battery again so there's another automation here so at 7 30 in the morning i call the script to change the value of register 43118 back to 1000 and what we can do if you i mean if um, we can prove that this is working so back looking at my dashboard here if i click on battery current we can see there at half seven so once the battery had finished charging, which is about four o'clock in the morning there, it stays at one amp, pretty much 1.6 amps until 7.30 in the morning. And then we can see that we start to get some actual usage out of my batteries. Also, we can see overnight here, here's my, where, where it's charging from grid. So, at, so the graphs aren't great there we go 35 minutes past midnight my charge amps increases to 45 and there because of where my batteries are located which is actually in a sort of cupboard outside um, and underneath the house they're actually pretty cold out there and it's the, the middle of winter here at the moment so um, the Fox batteries actually limit themselves to a 12 amp charge when it's below 15 degrees, I think. So what we can see there is, because I've got two of them, the current's 25 amps while the batteries are cold and then it kicks up to 45 um, once they warm up and they've been charging for a little while. So I think that pretty much wraps up um how my my automations work there the only one other one thing i would quickly show you if you like is the the script that changes the um the discharge amp so if we have a look in scripts so i have two scripts there one to set the the battery discharge to 100 amps and one that sets the battery discharge to one amp um, so literally all we're doing is an MQTT publish to the topic that's defined in registers.py in SolisMod. And so because it's a factor of 10, one amp is actually a value of 10 in the register. So there, with that script, we're limiting the, the discharge current to one amp. And this is the one that we run at half past seven where we're, we're basically opening the taps we set that value to a thousand. Um, so that shows the the control process for um, you know enabling and disabling the, the battery charge and discharge between those the peak and cheap hours. Um, a couple of other little things that I can I can quickly show you if you like. 
Um, what I have done as well is because um, previously in my energy dashboard, uh, my um, grid import calculations were based on the current agile rate from a, a sensor from the octopus integration what i've done now is i actually have a dual rate utility meter that's defined um, so you can see here i've got my peak and off peak uh, utilization there so so far today um, yeah i've used 10.8 kilowatts of the off peak rate and that's my um, my cost for that and peak rate 0.4 of a kilowatt and that's the cost for that and that's literally defined within um, within your settings and within the energy dashboard uh, here we go so you just set up two grid consumption um, sensors and statically assign your unit prices i think they're slightly different depending on what area you you're in but for me it's 42 pence or best part of 43 pence peak rate and 14 pence off peak rate i then have a little automation which switches between those based on the time of day um, this is all pretty well documented if you if you just google for um, home assistant dual rate utility meter all the instructions are, are available it's, it's pretty straightforward to set up uh, well hopefully you found that useful um, so it's a bit shorter video than uh, the previous ones but um, you would have obviously need to, to watch those and understood them to to get the best out of this one but as always feel free to contact me with with any comments or feedback and thanks for watching